Hello everyone and welcome back to Cosplay Tea Time, a fun community of cosplayers creating little podcast recordings for you to listen to where we talk about different anime themes, we talk about holidays, and we talk about colors. Today's color is yellow, but before we get into all that, I want to introduce our tea sippers here with us today, starting with... Hi, I'm Bellona Rose Cosplays. If you're wondering where I am, well, I'm on the good old TikTok, and my link tree is also on my TikTok, and you can check out my other pages through there. Alrighty, well, welcome, Bella. Thank you once again for joining. Uh, my name is Jen. I'm the founder of Cosplay Tea Time. I'm also today's host. Uh, you can find me on Instagram, TikTok, and YouTube at JenCreatorCosplays45. So, huzzah! We're here! Yay! Good, good, good. Alright, so we're going to go and start <laughs> with a couple icebreaker questions. So, first icebreaker question is, what are some of your favorite cosplay props to use? Well, my favorite cosplay props to use are definitely ones that they just have a lot of use for. I uh, remember around the time before you know, I went up to Michigan, I spent time making my Sailor Ruby Rose cosplay, and I made a staff that came along with it. I just didn't bring it because I wouldn't have been able to take it back with me. <laughs> so I left it here somewhere. You need a staff to find your other staff. Gosh, I need that in my life. Just a magic wand to wave around and be like, alright, where did I leave my keys? Where's my where's my sewing tape? Like <laughs> it's make that That prop is actually like a magic wand, so <laughs> There you go. Uh, let's see. Some of my favorite props, of course, are little plushies. Um, we have different several ones I'll use, like in cosplay and out of cosplay. Uh, yes, those two. <laughs> don't put them in the same room together. It's going to end very poorly. So don't. There will be explosions and there will be fire. Yep. Simply put. <laughs> um, I like to use little teacups. Right there. I do have a magic wand that I use for uh, Sakura Kinamoto from Carcaptor Sakura. Mm -hmm. And um, just like little different odds and ends and stuff. So it's always something fun to use. All right, next up we have um, if you. All right, so a favorite character of yours from any anime series franchise. If you could meet this character and give them one food to try. Who would the character be, and what would the food that you'd want them to try be? Well, it was speaking about yellow characters. <laughs> <laughs> the character I'm cosplaying, I really know that, that she likes apples because she works on Apple Farm. Uh, her name is Applejack from My Little Pony. This is just a knock off Equestria Girls cosplay that I so happened to put together from my closet. Mm -hmm. I love closet, closet cosplays mm -hmm. a lot. Uh, but I guess I would kind of make something Apple for her. I know she's already had apple pie. Oh. <laughs> It's so funny because I bought uh, apple turnovers uh, earlier today and I was making those beforehand. I wanted to bring one down, but there just wasn't enough room on my little table, so those are really good. <laughs> I know. Uh, I guess I'll go ahead and stick with the character that I'm cosplaying. It's just like a very casual uh, Lucy Hartphilia from the show Fairy Tale. I kind of want to step away from wholesome and just be like I kind of want to treat her to a girls night where we can just go to a nice place and grab a couple of adult beverages and just relax and unwind away from all the noisy boys and the guilt so <laughs> girl needs to relax oh sometimes <laughs> as you should as you should as you should yes <laughs> you could use it We'll be like, we'll take a break from tea. We're going to go try this very extravagant, nice place with 
some different beverages, so we'll invite the other girls from the guild too, so the boys, boys, no boys, girls night, girls night on the town. <laughs> Alright, ladies, so that kind of wraps up our little icebreaker questions. Now we're going to do a little mini uh, commercial break for those who are tuning in. You're watching us for the first time. Welcome. Thank you so much for joining and watching. We're just a bunch of cosplayers who like to record different podcasts, whether it's, you know, animes, holidays, colors. We do the art of cosplaying, such as prop making. We did that earlier this year. Oh, we did that recording. We have several other recordings. Just check out our playlist somewhere. I don't know if you can post a link or something. All the playlists. Woohoo. <laughs> but yes, so if you're watching and you're a fellow cosplayer and would want to join, just be sure to message us on our Instagram. Uh, we'll get you squared away with the Discord link. You must be 18 years or older to join. That is our one requirement because we want to make sure that folks are safe uh, within the server and whenever we record podcasts. So there is that as well. Uh, but for those that are watching, just want to say thank you for the love, for the continued support, as we we already celebrated a year, but, you know, we're still going strong, we still want to do this, and we have so much more exciting content coming up, especially our latest project, which is the cookbook, so sure to check out that video. I'm super stoked to get ready to see all those recipes and get cooking for the cookbook, so... That's all about us. So be sure to follow and support our amazing guest and tea sippers. Make sure to follow and support Cosplay Tea Time on, where are we these days? Facebook, Twitter, TikTok, Instagram, YouTube, of course. So make sure you hit that bell, click the like button, all that fun jazzy stuff. So, all right. So go ahead and grab your tea, your water, your snacks, because we are now going to go ahead and discuss today's theme. Today's topic is the color yellow. So, a little bit of history about the color yellow. I have to look down because I did not memorize this beforehand. So, don't blame me. Alright, so uh, as we all know, the color yellow is a primary color. Yellow in the form, it comes from the form of yellow oak cream. I hope I said it right. It's a pigment made from clay uh, and was one of the first colors used in prehistoric cave art. The cave of, oh, I know I'm going to butcher this, Last Currents has an image of a horse colored with yellow estimated to be 17, oh, 17,300,000 years old. In ancient Egypt, Yellow was associated with gold, which was considered to be imperishable, external, and indestructible, and was used exclusively in tomb paintings. The skin and bones of the gods were believed to be made of gold. The ancient Romans used yellow in their paintings to represent gold, and also in skin tones. Yellow is represented in many paintings, flowers, and countries' flags. In many Asian cultures, yellow symbolizes happiness, glory, and harmony. So lots of good things about yellow. Very, very old color, but that is okay. So, all right, so now we get into our little theme questions, but the first one being, what is your favorite shade of yellow? Okay. Then you got me. Oh, no. Got me. Okay. <laughs> I'm ready to explain this whole... Go ahead. <laughs> Bing. Now, personally, I am not a fan of the color yellow. Oh, I do think yellow is very pretty. But what fascinates me about, or what I find fascinating, what fascinates me, <laughs> English, shall we? <laughs> Okay. What I find fascinating about the color yellow is that in the world of hair, yellow is more associated with blonde tones and just the different levels of the hair. And if you actually go online and you look up some hair level charts, you'll see that the darkest is at 1 and the lightest color, the lightest shade of blonde is at 10. One is black, and then tan is the most lightest shade of blonde that you can, you can have on your head. And then 
in the middle, it goes from black a black levels to brown levels in the middle and then blonde levels at the end. And that's kind of what I find fascinating about the color yellow is because it makes me think of level system when doing hair and trying to identify someone's natural level on their hair before you know, maybe performing a hair color service on them. Because that is very important. So when I think of yellow, I kind of just think of that. Ooh, whatever, whatever flips your boat. So I love it. And that's yeah. kind of one of the other questions too. Is like, well, we'll get into that question because it's kind of a bit different. So yes, we love having you on the color recording shows, or at least I do, because I love hearing you talk about the different hair and the different styles and stuff. I'm always so lost. I'm just like, I don't know anything. We need Bella. <laughs> Bella for this. <laughs> Um, let me see. So favorite shade of yellow for me, I definitely like uh, the lighter tones, like it's probably not going to come up very good on this, but like kind of like a not super light, like not butter colored, but kind of like a medium tone. So I think of like sunsets. I have a yellow t-shirt that I use for B from B and Puppy Cat, like that kind of yellow. It's like very medium, you know, stuff like that. I do like sunflowers. That's uh, one of my favorite yellow things, so I think they're so pretty. Alright, okay, so now we move into a little bit more about hair, which is have you ever dyed uh, your hair or wanted to dye your hair like the yellow blonde palette? Is that the right word? <laughs> oh no, I think it oh, hurt. Um, is it a little bit of some. I got a little scared because I wasn't sure if my mom's loud talking would like get me a little light, bit because I have to have it open for like the Wi Fi. Mm -hmm. um, you okay? <laughs> so, uh, whenever it comes to changing your hair color to, you know, a yellow tone, I personally have not done it. In case if you're wondering, this is a wig. I like wearing wigs more than dyeing my hair. Also, dyeing my hair. I just can't do it. Mm -hmm. I can't do it. I can't bring myself to. It's okay. I can't. That's but okay. the process for uh, making your hair, you know, any type of yellow always starts with either lightening your hair or, you know, maybe putting some baby lights in for, for some reason that, you know, just to make the hair a little bit lighter. I actually did a, um, I did an appointment with a client who went from a level seven natural neutral brown to a level nine and we were gonna take her to a level ten to put baby lights in, which we never got to do before we weren't able to do appointments anymore. But um Whenever it comes to dyeing your hair, the first step, if you have, you know, hair that is darker than, you know, a type of, like, level blonde, is to lighten the hair because you're what you're doing is you're opening up the cuticle on the hair strand, and it takes out the pigment, and then once it's all lifted, you get to put hair color in there mm -hmm. whether it's semi-permanent demi-permanent or permanent semi-permanent is more um healthier for your hair i just gotta say side note i know so there's kind but, of like a science behind all this yeah with mm -hmm. hair it's a science that we experience whenever we are doing someone's hair I ha and here's the thing, so I have, again, I have made somebody almost a level 10 blonde, and I also have imitated Denki Kaminari on my mannequins, that's cool. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so in a way. <laughs> Done both, so it's exciting. Oh, I love that. Uh, he's more of um, an electric yellow, like a Pikachu yellow, <laughs> and it's different from a natural blonde yellow or like somebody with a balayage or baby lights. So yeah. 
Ow. Yeah. Get my finger on the window. So I'm sorry. <laughs> oh, no. And just see, uh, like a like a one of those like hair coloring boxes, and it's just like Pikachu's like face, like Pikachu yellow. <laughs> and Denki's just like, oh, that's for me. Like, that's for me. Um. So I have not dyed my hair like yellow or blondish. Um. Sometimes I think if I like spend a lot of time out in the sun, my hair just gets lighter. Um. Like naturally, I don't know if that's a thing but it'll get like a little bit lighter and stuff. But I've been thinking about going blonde, so I don't know, I keep like, I'm just like, if I do go blonde, I'll have to like upkeep it and like appointments and stuff. And then at the same time, like, well, I can just throw a wig on and I'd be good for the day and whatnot. So I don't know, I'm still kind of back and forth. <laughs> All right, let's see. Next up, we have what clothing item, so like dress, shoes, pants, headband, whatever it might be, is the best color for yellow? I think what will always be a uh, darling piece of clothing, and I mean a darling piece of clothing, is anything with white on it that also has, you know, sunflower print or maybe it's a black background with the sunflower print on it mm -hmm. you know it can be on a nice beach hawaii beach theme t-shirts i forget what they're mm -hmm. called and you know, they got the like sweet collar and everything mm -hmm. yeah or it can be undressed that somebody could just wear okay. and i think that's what with yellow would always look adorable darling mm -hmm. on anybody because it's you no know, it, it it's i gotta admit it's it's nice stuff <laughs> flowers are nice things yeah. slowly getting to look more and more yellow <laughs> never know <laughs> and my wall is yellow there you go it yes. might look lime green but it's it's yellow if you look I at know. it in the sunlight <laughs> That. Um, yes, so I think right now probably this yellow scarf that I got about a year ago, I was gonna, I actually did a uh, Hilda from the Netflix show Hilda, hashtag not sponsored, um, but yeah, I did that, no, <laughs> I'm trying to think yellow, like I said before, the yellow t-shirt I own, uh, it's mostly just like shirts and scarves and stuff, I don't think I've ever owned any like yellow pants or anything like that but yeah and I think too uh like gold accessories I have a few things I'm mostly a sterling silver kind of gal but uh I do have a few like gold pieces like a gold uh opal ring that I sometimes wear so who's that this one okie dokie uh this one might be a bit of an easy question which is what mood best fits the color yellow so the mood that I think would best fit the color yellow would just be I don't I don't oh no, wait I don't really know actually because you know the thing is so yellow has never been my favorite mm -hmm. so I can never really relate yellow to anything but little ten blonde done um Mr Boom Boom Boy over here <laughs> but. Um, let's see, hold on, hold on, hold on, if I had to guess, hold on. Pale wouldn't really be a mood, so the color, hello, it, I really don't see where it could be a mood in my brain, like, I'm not processing it to be a mood. <laughs> what I'm saying. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> yeah, I, I kind of get it. So, ooh, that was close. Um, so, you know, I think uh, we talked a little bit, like, you know, uh, in some cultures it represents, like, harmony, happiness, joy. So, like, whenever you see, like, the color yellow, it's like, oh, it's like a happy color. You think of, like, the sun, like a smiley face sun or something like that. So, you know, there's different. I just think like overall like happiness and whatnot. I don't think people see yellow and think like, ooh, scary, unless it's like, I don't know, like one of those like traffic, uh, 
like signs or something that might be yellow or is it orange oh there's yellow ones i don't know whatever color they are <laughs> if, if it's supposed to indicate danger but mostly happiness so there's that okay Here's your fun question that you absolutely love, which is what food or drink uh, best fits the color yellow? So, okay, food, yellow, hold on. I got it. I I'm getting more excited with these questions. <laughs> okay, yellow foods, yellow foods. I know a yellow food I am definitely allergic to is pineapple. Mm -hmm. But I know how to eat it and not react. It's called neutralizing what I'm allergic to in it. Oh. I know what I'm allergic to in it. So pineapple is definitely a food that is yellow. But if we were th when we were talking about baking, we were talking mm -hmm. about cooking food. I got you. Baking, I'm gonna have to say some nice cheesecake. Yep. I can't eat. And then cooking. Okay, this is gonna be both an Armenian and also Greek thing. Spinach pie. I'm telling you, the spinach pie. Greeks, they'll kind of put less cheese in it. Armenians nowadays, they'll put more cheese in it because it's good, right? What I'm really talking about, what I'm really talking about. Focus in, focus in. Zoom, zoom, zoom. <laughs> the top, the phyllo dough, when it's crispy or when it's getting that nice crispiness, getting all that crispiness in the oven. Oh, it just goes from like layered white, all that butter. Mm -hmm. Like this golden brown, that type of yellow, that golden sweet brown. <laughs> There's a time when I used to eat that I could eat this stuff, but now I can't eat this stuff. I'm sad. Mm -hmm. I'm sad. Well, let me tell you, from my past, the way I remember it, oh, <laughs> my heart, it was so good. Mm -hmm. It sounds lovely. I'll have to make all those recipes one day. Spinach pie. Sounds good. And I'll send dish. you the recipes, Jenna. We can oh, even put in the cookbook. That would be exciting. Yes. The cookbook project. Alright, so I'm trying to think. I just went to the grocery store. It's always funny how I go on grocery stores on days of recordings. Not the purpose. But uh, let's see. We have uh, squash. <clears throat> like a uh, not butternut squash, but like the yellow squash. We have bananas, I guess. Like they're yellow on the outside, but then once you peel them, they're kind of white. I don't eat bananas. I don't like bananas, but argue that down in the comments below. <laughs> um, and there was one more. Oh, corn. You know, the TikTok audio that took two weeks to get out of my head. Uh, so corn, cornmeal, uh, that kind of thing. So yeah. <laughs> Corn is very, very good, especially in the summer, whenever you grill it and just smother in butter and salt and pepper. Yeah, super good. I'm getting hungry as we speak, so we're going to move on to the next question, which is, what character best represents the color yellow? Let's see, Lucy, Applejack, Akago, Yang, you got Yang, I see you right there, Bakugo, go, go, stay right there. Um... Oh, skirt down and <laughs> That's really I'd say um Kirby for also for my little pony. Mm -hmm. uh, any other character that's blonde that I don't know? Well Becky, he's a kind of blind. He's more like electric yellow though, like Pikachu electric. Um, I was also thinking, well, it's not like a person, but it's like a spiritual being, I guess, is a uh, Karachan from uh, uh, Carcaptor Sakura. I had him during, I think, our 90s uh, anime, but he's all yellow because he represents a lion, so 
he has a little red bow tie, so. <laughs> okay, we have one more question, which is, uh, what song or artist best, best fits the color yellow? I might have to do some intense Google searching. Coldplay. Coldplay? Oh, they do have a song called Coldplay, Yellow. Coldplay. I hit the wall like it was a buzzer. <laughs> I was so ready. I'm glad you were I hit the ready. wall like a buzzer. <laughs> and that, that was not meant to put abuse on this house, Father. Oh, you're fine. It was I... reaction. Solely reaction. You're fine. <laughs> I'm usually much more prepared with these, but for some reason, Yellow just slipped my mind, so... Yes, we have Yellow by Coldplay, we have Yellow Submarine by The Beatles, uh, we have Yellow Brick Road, which is from uh, The Wizard of Oz, we have Black and Yellow by Wiz Ka Ka Khalif Khalifa, I think, uh, Big Yellow Taxi by Counting Crows, something I cannot pronounce, <laughs> but it's yellow in the title, I'm going to pronounce that. Yeah, and then uh, well, Yellow Brick Road by Angus and Julie, Julia Stone, so that was really good. Ooh, my bad. Okay. So there you go. Add it to your playlist. One of these days, like I said before, we'll do the Cosplay Tea Time Spotify playlist thing, and we'll definitely have a color-themed uh, playlist in there somewhere. I'm running out of words. English. <laughs> Be a good night to use it. But... your playlist, make a playlist, blast the playlist. Good steps. Good process. The playlist, Make it work. Um, yeah, would it be nice with the playlist? Yeah. Work it out. So, alright, but before we wrap up, that kind of finishes off the theme. Uh, just one, not our last color theme. We still have a couple more that we want to do, so stay tuned for those. But before we wrap up here, Bella, did you have any questions, comments? Yellow. It's a nice color. <clears throat> Hopefully you've grown. with the episode of the yellow. <laughs> what are your thoughts? What are you doing? What are you saying? Yellow. Hmm. A lot of good yellow. It's okay. I can feel you commenting. Manifest the comments. <laughs> Manifest the yellow. There you go. <laughs> That'll be our new uh, podcast quote in the uh, in the channel. <laughs> we'll go put it there right. Well, not right now, but in a little bit. Okay. Um. Let's see. So yeah, that pretty much wraps up uh, the color theme yellow. We'll have couple more uh, that we'll record next year and post those. So make sure you stay tuned. Again, thank you all so much for joining in, watching. Thank you, Bella, for coming and attending. A little tea party. You know. Fancy. <laughs> yes, so again, if you're a cosplayer and you want to join, just make sure I message our Instagram. We'll get back to you within an hour or so-ish. Like I said, it's easier to message on Instagram than TikTok or something because I'm able to see it a bit bit better so just doesn't mean I might respond right away but I see it and I'm like I will message I will do it no worries we'll, we'll be there for you so but until then we hope everyone is staying safe taking care and as always keep sipping away bye everyone <laughs>